Hey YouTube family and friends, this is Proverbs 31 woman and I just wanted you guys to take a look at some of last year's harvest. These are harvested, these were harvested last year. Let me flip my tray over. So we got some Anaheim peppers. I want to say this was last year, it might have been the year before, but I harvested a lot of peppers. I grew a lot of peppers. And I was cleaning out my deep freezer and I thought I was gonna have to go to the store to get some peppers. And I found some of my harvest, look at there, from last year. And y'all excuse my countertop is full of stuff right now. <laughs> so these were Anaheim peppers that I grew. And I did try to preserve those trees or uh, vegetables, but, or plants. I don't know if they're gonna make it or not. It's been extremely cold this year here. And these are Mexican chilies, or new Mexican chilies. Okay, the Anaheim peppers. And so I'm gonna chop them up. And I'm gonna add them to this uh, beef that I have here. Okay. And these are frozen onions. So I'm gonna mix up the peppers in there, around there. And then I'm gonna put some uh, seasoning, some steak seasoning on both sides of this uh, beef right here. And this is frozen solid, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it in the oven and allow it to thaw and cook it on low, allow it to thaw and to um, cook. I like to do this when we are camping. I don't know if you guys have RV camped before, but I like to do this in the oven in the RV when we camp and it just comes out so delicious and it's a quick meal to fix. This beef is a little thicker than what I would usually put on here but it just comes out so delicious. Um, so basically I just want to show you guys that there are other ways of storing your harvest from this year and you could also can some peppers so you could can them and you can freeze them. Um, I also saved uh, some of my peppers so that I can make uh, um, pepper jelly. If you guys have ever had that, I made pineapple pepper jelly and regular pepper jelly out of all the peppers from my garden. I just put them all in together, banana peppers, everything. And it actually came out pretty delicious. My mother-in-law loved it and I made sure that I um, shared several cans with her or jars okay so just showing you and look how fresh they look and they've been in here mm, probably just since august last year maybe these might have been towards the early part of the season like some of the earlier um peppers that were harvested so i'd say maybe july for these okay if they're from this year if they're from this year, they may be from the 2019 growing season. Make sure you mark your bags because guys, I didn't mark my bag. But I know this is my harvest and these were grown from my garden. Okay. But I'm thinking they were may have been an earlier season. Look at that. I was so proud of these. <laughs> when I grew them, this I'm so proud of them. But I always try to grow Anaheim peppers, and not all of them are big, some of them are tiny, um, and bell peppers. And bell peppers taste really good too, and pepper jelly. And I also like all my different hot and um, sweet and hot varieties. Okay, so just remember there's, there's a little divot there, for homegrown, so you know they're not as pretty as the store brought, but I think they are. But anyhow, um, just remember there's other alternatives for storing your fruits and vegetables uh, that you grow in your garden this year. Don't let anything go to waste. Try to grow what you think you're going to eat. Um, and have a good time. But I'll be sharing more videos with you later. I just want to share this with you because I was very excited when I found these. And I remember harvesting them. Um, I can't remember if they were the latter part of 2019 season or the early part of 2020 uh, growing season. And there 
I'm, they're, my, I'm, they're definitely my peppers. And these were definitely last year because I had the Mexican chili last year. All right, so you guys have a beautiful and wonderful day. God bless and cover you all. And thank you for stopping by the Proverbs 31 Women channel. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so I'm not completely done. <laughs> Um, this is the steak seasoning that I used on the beef and what I did was I put it in the oven on 350 and I cooked it for about an hour and a half. Um, once an hour and a half passed I went ahead and cut it into slices like um, um, crossways and then I allowed it to cook a short time maybe about 20 or 30 minutes um, just to make sure the meat is done if it depends on how you like it we like our meats well done when they're cooked so at that point you could probably just eat it and it was very delicious so delicious that I didn't take the time to take a picture of the finished product um, but thank you guys and here's a quick clip of it in the oven have a great day one of my peppers have mature seeds, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep those. And that was the, from the Mexican chili, so I'm gonna let them dry, and then I'm gonna try to germinate them, see how they do. So I went back into my historical records, and this is what I found for the harvest. And this is definitely my harvest. So just wanted to share these garden photos with you.